Check, check, check. My dick, the dick is my own. Check my penis. Ooh, we, how we doing, everybody? Welcome to Come Town Pre Vacation Edition. Just making sure that works. Yeah, you gotta check the check all the For levels. All the sisters and the <laughs> out there <laughs> listening on yep. the iPods and <laughs> radios. <laughs> And by the way, folks, we're not saying anything. Mm-hmm. It's whatever's in your mind. That's what they call Zoom. They call it the iPod. I, I've never heard that. Yeah. I've never heard that, but I'm not going to say that you're wrong necessarily. Mm-hmm. That's what Apple calls it. Really? As I remember <laughs> Steve Jobs doing that keynote. Mm-hmm. When somebody asked him, they're like, can you actually explain what the difference is between the Zoom and the iPod? And Tim's like, you know, or Steve Jobs, Steve Apple was like, Steve uh, Apple, he was like, he just stared at this guy, and he's like, "All right, you want a Zoom? Then go ahead and buy a Zoom. That's if you're a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you surprised? Oh wow, you're surprised. Let's take a look. Let Let's go live to to the fucking New York Stock Exchange right now, and the Apple numbers are going through the roof. Right. And he's like, everything I touch is gold. Is gold, you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I had a Zoom. I had a Zoom when I was in middle yeah. school or high school. I don't think I've ever even seen a Zoom. I was part of the Zoom crew, brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I well, A lot of my life was spent getting the bootleg versions of everything. Mm-hmm. I we've, already, to, we've already discussed the air walks. Mm-hmm. Where you couldn't have real skate shoes, you got the yeah, Payless. the Payless version. Oh yeah. yeah, all my life I was I was shopping at Burlington Coat Factory. I got made fun of for having airwalks for being a poser, right? And it's like, well, I do skateboard. I'm just bad at it. Yeah, that's not a poser. In fact, I've got more. The fact that I'm continuing to do something that I'm bad at makes yeah. me more authentic. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I'm not a fucking poser. A poser would not skate at all. Exactly. I'm a fucking a poser loser. Would, a poser would have Excuse to, me, I'm not yeah. a poser. I'm a loser. I'm Thank a you faggot. <laughs> <laughs> it seems you have been mistaken again. You may kick my ass, but you will never take from me the fact that I am a faggot. <laughs> Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a lot of bootleg shit. I remember one here at Apple. We call we call the Zoom the iPod for, and we call the uh, what's the other one? iPod, iPad, no, iPhone. There's, there's one. There's a, there was the Zoom. Oh, you mean another MP3 player? Yeah. I don't. Do they have names? Winamp. Yeah, we call that uh, iTunes for. <laughs> Here at Apple. Winamp? Winamp. What the fuck is that? It's iTunes that you'd use if you're a f- <laughs> Okay. Steve Jobs giving one of the most electric performance yeah. a keynote addresses for the state of the getting your dick sucked. It's the Worldwide Developer Conference. And what does that stand for? Wide motherfucking dick swanging <laughs> conference. <laughs> And I'm Steve Jobs. <laughs> and I'm Steve Jobs, and I'm never getting cancer. I'm never going to get cancer. Why? Because my dick's too big. <laughs> I pulled down my pants, and I said, <laughs> doctor said this guy is either a <laughs> or a <laughs> with a cock like that. And I said, neither. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> Steve Jobs had that kind of, you ever see those dicks in pornos where it was like, there would always be like some Brazilian guy, and it was like, their dicks were like like the Austin Powers um, cock pumps. Mm-hmm. And they would pump, or maybe they would like inject like saline or something into them, and they would just have these hysterically large cocks. Mm-hmm. That's what Steve Jobs had. Yeah. That didn't get it. They never got hard. Yeah. I saw a couple pornos in my youth when I was really just cranking through whatever to, to beat off. Last week at a conference, Bill Gates said that I'm a f- But I want you guys to know that it's actually Bill Gates that's a f- <laughs> and an <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the worldwide development conference. <laughs> and by the way, we got the fucking we got a you can touch the screen now yeah. on your phone and it you, works. You can touch the screen just like you can touch your mama's. <laughs> I went to Bill Gates' house and I touched his mama's <laughs> because I'm Steve Jobs, a <laughs> and a. 
<laughs> Wait, you're both of those two? And now I'm a... <laughs> I thought you just said Bill Gates was those things. He's them separately. <laughs> but in a bad way? In a bad way. But, but you're, you, what are you in a good way? I'm a f- <laughs> <laughs> But the good kind. But the good kind. <laughs> Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the beep rules, dude. I'm a beep beep, but the good way. It makes the show so much better. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Who's got the keys to the G? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Mm-hmm. Fuck. I'm uh, I'm out here in beautiful fucking Brooklyn, New York, gazing at it. I'll be I'll be away from here for almost a month, more than a month. Yeah, I'll be here the whole time. Nah, dude, you gotta go. Do, you gotta go somewhere exotic. I'm going on a vacation. And by that, I mean I'm gonna start a new file in Red Dead Redemption Two. <laughs> Play through the game again. Put on a fucking Hawaiian shirt and starting you file. This time I'm giving myself a second chance in life. I'm going to make sure to take the hair tonic in chapter one. Mm. Make sure that I get Arthur's beard exactly the way it should be Is that, by the end of the story so I don't, in my own personal life, have to grow a giant beard for two years <laughs> to prove that I could do it. You have to do it early to get his yeah. beard long? It's funny because it's like people, like, I was this girl was like, yeah, when you grow the beard, it seems like you're hiding something or whatever. And uh, it is true. My psychology works like everybody else's. But they make the mistake of not realizing how retarded I am. Right, right, right. Literally the only reason I grew a beard is because I got to the end of Red Dead Redemption 2 and I did not take the hair tonic in Chapter 2. Really enough. And so Arthur's beard never reached a full level 10. Right. The mustache was like, uh, you know, I got max mustache. Mm. But the beard itself, like the chin I had no idea you could... so. No matter how much hair tonic you get towards the end, no, unless you get you to take the end, unless you unless you ti- you time it all right, you never wow. get Arthur's beard right. Wow, that's fucked up. Yeah, what's the point of a tonic? I don't know, but I had to grow a two-year beard myself. And you showed r- the fucking developers I of Rockstar it, Games. I did it. I literally it destroyed my relationship. Yep. You know, I was living mm-hmm. with somebody. They left me. Over yes, there. and it was worth it. And you would think, yeah, of course. Without question. That was six months in. I was like, well, now I'm committed to this project. By the way, I'm growing a giant beard now. You are? No, no, no. That's oh. what you said to her. Oh, yeah, I said that. By the way, bitch, it's I was like, I, I notice, uh, I, I see that you're crying if uh, because I've been doing nothing but playing this cowboy game. <laughs> uh, I just want to let you know that I will be growing a beard to be more like my friend from the game. <laughs> No, I do not want to go get drinks with your friends. No, I work. don't want to see your gay ass friends, <laughs> who I've actually been friends with longer than you. But then, when you became friends with them, I no longer want to. Now I think they're gay. Now I think they're gay. No, kind of like it's kind of a Steve Jobs, Bill Gates situation. Yeah, where as <laughs> you are a f- and an, I am the, <laughs> and she just couldn't understand that. Dude. She just couldn't understand that. It's just chapter so, it's chapter three, the Obama stories. The Obama stories. The Obama book. It's chapter three. Getting pussy from Michelle. Getting pussy from Michelle, and becoming a true <laughs> instead of just a <laughs> <laughs> becoming Steve Jobs instead of Bill Gates. <laughs> Getting pussy from Michelle. I bet you thought I met my wife. Mm. I met Michelle Kwan, I'm the in, figure skater. I met Michelle Welbeck, the author. What What does she write? He wrote... Oh, it's a guy. It's a guy. A French guy. A, fr- a, lot, a lot of people don't know French guys. They, uh, they got pussy. <laughs> they got a little pussy. They you got a little pussy underneath you, their balls. You can <laughs> them in their... Bu- <laughs> you lift up their little French balls and they got a pussy there. I fucked a uh, four-year-old boy from Thailand. <laughs> While I was doing it, he turned around and he called me a f- <laughs> <laughs> And I said, hey, hey, <laughs> that's, uh, that's f- to you. <laughs> Damn, dude. Dreams of uh, my father. Yeah. Chapter three. Flags of, flags of our father. Getting pussy in Iwo Jima. The big thing this week is uh, some woman found a book where another woman had annotated Charles Bukowski in the margins. And Did she? Yeah, that's the big thing on Twitter. Charles Bukowski. Mm-hmm. That's in the guy. We were the... forced to read Charles Bukowski. Or as I called him, <laughs> Buff. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
that's just the kind of guy I was in high school. That's the kind of things I would say back in those days. <laughs> beep, but mm. beep, beep. If we called him, <laughs> <laughs> and then also sometimes just. <laughs> <laughs> People say, what are you doing? I said, I'm reading a little bit of <laughs> 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 Why does everybody always talk about that fucking guy? Uh, Wasn't he just the guy who would like get fucked up and get pussy? Yeah. Seems so okay to me as far as I'm concerned. Now, of course, I've never read a book by him. I will never read a book by him. Mm-hmm. <sighs> uh, but you know what I was reading? The book Dune. Dune, yeah. I always thought Bukowski was gay from the get-go. I've never. I don't really know anything about him. Like I said, I know that annoying girls well, don't like yeah, him. Uh, no, I remember when annoying girls did like Bukowski when I was a teenager. Mm. And the thing about Bukowski, I always thought was gay because they're like, oh, he just, you know, he's like disgusting and he's an alcoholic or whatever. I'm like, yeah, and then he does gay ass poetry. Right, real alcoholics. Are you can just do the passing out behind their fucking Hyundai Elantras. Yeah. in a fucking school zone. That's what you're doing with the fuck with their foot on the brake. I don't need to. <laughs> and yeah. somehow they fell asleep like that. I don't need to. I don't need to write a poem. No. Yeah, he, I can just. Uh, I can just piss myself. That's right. In a public park. <laughs> <laughs> that's what a real disgusting alcoholic does. There we go from the New Yorker. The post dirt bag left. Oh, shit. For years, chap. I don't understand, like, who, um, like, imagine you're just some fucking, f- <laughs> like, old boomer. Right, you right, know? right. And you're only, like, last year you learned that you shouldn't say, d-, you know, right. when referring to black police officers. <laughs> right. right. You love, and you're like, you think they found that out last yeah, year. Like, oh, Donald, Donald, the new New Yorker has come. Aren't I just the happiest little f- in the world? <laughs> yeah. And I can read my New Yorker magazine. I hope they have some nice pictures and of I fucking can talk Fauci about it with my f- friends <laughs> while we all talk about sucking Dr. Fauci's penis. <laughs> that little f- Dr. Fauci. <laughs> Damn, this is the beep was going to be the MVP of this episode. <laughs> Let's see what what articles do we have in the New Yorker today? The post dirt bag left. What does that mean? For years, Chapo Trap House. And uh, what is this <laughs> bullshit? <laughs> Chapo Trap House? Is this something one of my <laughs> grandsons listens to? <laughs> for years, Chapo Trap House. The one we got prepped for his 14th birthday. He got prepped so he could have gay sex with his <laughs> friends. Because one of them's a. <laughs> 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 uh, for years, Chapo Travels and other podcasts have paired anti-capitalist ideas. Oh my god! With a rhetorical Shut the style fuck up. Of social media is a new form emerging. Shut up, you fucking I don't losers! I need to read this, but it's like I'm a boring fag, and I'm jealous that I'm, these guys yeah, are rich. I'm 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 threatened by the fact that a different type of nerd beat me to the punch, and be now it's my turn to be cool. What? Wait a second! These nerds found out how to get rich and pussy, and I'm in a fucking gay ass magazine and my I'm whole a, life. I'm a fucking. <laughs> 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 On the evening of January 6th, while <laughs> guard troops were still trying to remove an insurrectionist mob from the Capitol, the right-wing activist L. Brent Basel III... <laughs> no, that's that guy's name? Yeah. How about you L. Wright bobble my nuts in your mouth mm-hmm. three times, bitch? ...appeared as a guest on Fox Business... They okay. believe the selection was stolen, he said of the rioters. I agree with them. They are furious about the deep state. I agree with them. He offered a limp concession or two. You can't countenance our national capital being breached, but spend most of the time zigzagging across the... Th- this is gay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna I could have to- told you that. I uh, know. I mean, I knew it. Oh, I could have told you that, Chief. Mm-hmm. This is all about this. So it starts off talking about Chapo, and then it's five paragraphs about the insurrection at the Capitol. How about a little erection at the Capitol? Mm-hmm. What? Um, what about that? Here he goes. In February, Zeke was charged with three federal crimes. A week and a half later, the two hosts of Know Your Enemy, 
a podcast founded in 2019 that bills itself as a leftist guide to the conservative movement. So, I, you know, we're going to cancel Comptown. We're getting rid of it. Yep. And we're starting a new show called uh, Murder, She, They. Murder, They Wrote. And it's, yeah, Murder, She, Her. And it's a, <laughs> an LGBTQ crime comedy podcast. Okay. For, I like that. For But this time for leftists. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And what kind of people are they? Um, well, we cover a crime each From week. what kind of perspective? Uh, from the LGBTQ leftist feminist perspective. Mm-hmm. And what, 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 how would they call, what would they call themselves? Well, the, the, the he, she, whatever. Mm-hmm. And the first episode is about uh, a couple of... Yeah, got I was trying to get yeah. you to No, use the, trust okay. me, I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> 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 I know. <laughs> I know exactly what we have to do here. <laughs> <laughs> Every which way but loose Oh yeah I don't know what that means Every which way but in my asshole I sure love saying it um, A leftist guide to the conservative <sighs> movement Like who Who are they like fucking like I mean I guess it's probably the same people listening to this You have to understand something Is neither of us Have ever listened to a single episode of this show Never Or re- honestly any other pod I have listened to Every basketball podcast did, that exists, did, but I'll never listen to I'll a say, comedy I, yeah. or fucking. I listen to cereal. Or... I listen to cereal when podcasts were like, new, you know, yeah. I was like, all right. It was when I got a smartphone. I used to listen before before I moved to New York. I listened to when I had an office job. I listened to a ton of shit. I listened to Comedy Bang Bang. Yeah, I didn't listen to anything. I, I listened, listened to Bobby's podcast. I listened to cereal, and then I used to listen to a lot of Smoking Tire mm-hmm. when I. Had the when I would like drive uh, trucks on commercials and I just had to sit in, yeah in a truck all time. day long, um, and that's it. Literally, the only podcast at cereal doesn't. I don't even really count that. No, Smoking Tire is the only podcast I ever really listened to. You listened to Smoking Tire and you actually lived Smoking Pole. No, I didn't. That was your favorite thing to well, do. Well, they called me Smoking Pole Robinson. Yeah. Because I would get my dick sucked. No, they wouldn't. Yes, they did. They called you Nicky Nicky Smoky Poley. They called you. F- yeah, so what? <laughs> it was an ironic name, because I'm actually not that, whatever nah, you're imagining. They used to call me D- Nick the Nick Dick Sucking, because I Nick would get my Nick. dick sucked. They would call you Dick, dick Sucking suckin Nick. Nick. But they called me that because I would get my dick sucked by girls. <laughs> so I really don't think that's, that's why they you did know, it. Well, that's what I, I never followed up with them. Yeah. But would people be like, hey, there's that cock sucking y- Yeah, fucking there's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, <laughs> oh, man. I'd be like, yeah, they probably called me that. Yeah, because girls they, suck girl, my dick, which they don't. But I, but they, they think they think I they because of the way I carry myself. Because yeah, of the way I yeah I carry my dick and suck and the suck way I hold it. it with my tweezers my, with with my with my th- extra my, small tweezers, my index finger and thumb out of I hold the tip out of the zipper of my pants. And then when people say, what are you doing? I'm like, it's in case I have to pee. Mm, yes. It's in case. So uh, some of us don't want to pee in our pants. Yeah. Ever think of that? God. Idiot. And then they beat the shit out of and you and make yeah. you suck their dicks. I'm like, teacher, I want to go back to the even more retarded class. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for... For, <laughs> for emotional retards. I need, <laughs> I need brain retards. <laughs> <laughs> I was the king of the brain was, retard yeah. class. <laughs> I want to go back to the class where one of the students is a dog. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Mm. Um, oh, baby. It's a fastball right down the middle for us, says Sam Adler Bell, one of the hosts. Uh, how about yeah, you? Uh, I, I, w- I would like them to profile my balls. The other host, Matthew Sitman. We're like Matthew sits down to pee. Man. Oh, shit. Or and sits sit down to pee. Sits one. Sure, that's good. Sits the math. Sits on my dickman. How about also. math girl sits down to pee woman? <laughs> I like it because of the Big density. Dad, you fucking. F- <laughs> sits on my dickman. I'm still gonna go with, but yeah. that's fine. I like your your route too. Yeah, Mo, mine's more vicious. It is. It's Mine, more of a vicious takedown. I'm thick, but that's why I'm the vicious one on the show. Yeah, you're Vishnu. Vishnu. The Indian god of burns, getting your ass fucked, of deep burns, and sucking dick at retard class, mm-hmm. <laughs> being held down <laughs> by kids with cigarette burns yeah. on their arms from this their is, dads. This article is so gay. Yeah, of course it is. Dude. This is a really great opportunity for us to dive into some deep cut conservative lore. 
It was less than two minutes into the episode, and already he had made a self-consciously erudite joke about Leo Strauss, and another about the Carlist movement in post-war Spain. Wow, that sounds fucking hilarious, dude. I don't want to learn anything, I have to say. How about the hot Carlist movement in your fucking mouth? mouth. (laughs) After I ate a fucking Chipotle burrito, double meat, extra guacamole, and hot sauce, and I had a fucking cold brew, I'm taking a big fat Chipotle hot Carl right in your mouth, Hot Carl right in your mouth. I got some homework for you right here. Yeah. To do suck Stav's dick. Yeah, it's a new era of podcasts where we try to out-chapo the Chapo guys, and it's certainly because, you know, we bring something new to the table. It's definitely not a bunch of bandwagon bullshit from hipsters. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bunch of trend chasing dickheads. I don't know. These guys are probably nice. I don't know. Yeah, they probably live. I don't. Right know, next I don't door. even know who those guys are. I have no idea. The New Yorker guy can suck my dick. The New Yorker guy can. can let's uh, let's not forget who the real target here is. Mm-hmm. The New Yorker guy who can suck my dick. Yeah. If and only, look, I'm not even saying that that guy's podcast is bad. I just don't want to listen to podcasts to learn. Mm-hmm. My dick is too big to do that. I listen to podcasts to hear about whether Buddy Heald is going to be traded to the Lakers or not. I don't mm-hmm. want to learn about Hot Carl, mm-hmm. unless it's the rapper who actually... Actually, no, wait. Hot Carl's that guy who did the Shrimp Tales thing for Cinnamon Toast mm-hmm. Crunch. So I take that back. I don't even want to learn about Hot Carl. Mm-hmm. Personally, I don't even like doing podcasts. I nobody, have to do yeah, them. no, but none of us want to do these podcasts. The complaint here is that's that, the thing. I have a problem with anyone who wants to do a podcast. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, it's time to get fucking paid, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like, but what I don't have a problem with, if, if is, you like, when you guys get paid, is whatever your job is, or you go to cushy dreams or your CBD. Yeah, you go yeah. to cushy dream. <laughs> nah, yeah, it is CBD. Cushy dreams, and you buy, you spend your money. On cushy, you got to balance it because you got a budget. You got to figure out. Of There's, course, you, you let's say you guys, you're working. You're getting your stimmies mm-hmm. money, and you're working at uh, the food court at the mall. I'm just gonna tell. I'm gonna make myself seem as out of touch from regular folks yeah, as yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're working your ass off at Blockbuster. Yep. <laughs> you're getting. You're, you're nine you're, to five at Radio Shack. You're ready to buy a gateway computer from fucking you're Circuit, Circuit City. City and you're you're buying a VCR. <laughs> <laughs> your day job where you buy a VCR at Circuit City with a, a, a you take you put your subway token in to take the uh, the what's what's the train they've discontinued S. Now the S is just the shuttle from Times Square to Grand Central. Oh, it used to be like the V, but I think they brought that back. I don't think there is a V. Then in, we'll go with the V. The V. Because uh, the the W they brought back. W runs it through Queens. I see it very often. Yeah. Because I think the R was supposed to be done bef- by now, and it wasn't, so they brought the W back. The R's, the R's running. Yeah, but the R used to go, like, through the, the river. I believe it still does. It does now? I, I never- You can take the R. The, the R is separate from the N, W. The yeah. R runs with the M. But they're both Queens. They're both on the yellow line in Queens. And yeah. they run through different parts of Queens, but they meet up in Manhattan. I've never really lived off either one of any of the, the what are, what are the what are the yellow trains called? I'm all I'm Mr. Yellow. Yeah. Never in my life. I'm Mr. Fucking Yellow. I'm a G train, an L train guy. No, in I'm the Chinatown I'm, days. I I'm R and M. B D F M. B D S M. Yeah. Oh, I love our B D F M. I love the That's BD- what they call that in Chinatown. I love going on the train and have at cushydreams.com and have to get to have uh, <laughs> vicious gay sex. Vicious gay sex on cushy And you know how com. those Chinese guys numb their assholes? When you go to cushydreams.com by smoking com. high quality CBD from our friends at cushydreams.com. Anyways, you're you're at fucking you're on the 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 Q train on your job to Circuit City where you sell right, VCRs. Right. Right. To uh to in exchange for Pokemon cards or Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever the fuck you do. You got to balance your budget where you got to spend half the money on Cushy Dreams with po- promo code Cumtown. Which and the other half of the 20% money, off. The other half of the money at patreon.com slash. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. And whatever's left over, make sure to go to stavi.biz slash tour. Buy tickets to my tour. Mm-hmm. I'm coming to a town near you. Or buy a t-shirt. And then make sure you wear a t-shirt from Come.Town to Stav Shows. Well, no, no. We'll wear a t-shirt from Stavi.biz slash shop. Well, then don't buy the tickets. Well, buy the tickets no. and wear the shirt. Listen, buy the shirt Sounds from like- Come.Town. 
but don't wear it to Stav's show. And thinking he's going to be happy to see it because he be didn't see a cent from that fucking he's gonna t-shirt. He's going to be happy to. He's going to be pissed off. He won't even take a picture with you when, when if he, you're wearing one of those when shirts. When he sees that shirt and he's mad, you can calm him down with some cushy dreams. You could you buy with promo code come town. You could free do that. shipping on all orders over seventy. So only come, only wear Nick shirts if you bring me at least forty dollars of cushy dreams. And that part is censored. That you use from Stav from, just said he doesn't want to see no. any. I didn't say that at all. Shirts. If you're a they can hear me talk through the beep. They, they can hear me talk. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Smoke your CBD because you can. Luxury pre-roll joints an extraordinary smokable flower. Yep. Smell-proof and discreet packaging. Boy, wow. I wish my wife's pussy had, had that. some of that packaging. 100% guaranteed delivery. They need to make that package. They need to make Boy. my wife's panties out of that 100% packaging. guaranteed delivery. I wish my wife's pussy had that instead of all these miscarriages and retards she keeps delivering. <laughs> Lab tested for compliance. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that, yeah, Nick. I, I have no idea. Damn, I wish I could get my sperm lab, or lab tested so I stopped producing retarded children. Right. That I have to sell into Chinese slavery. Mm-hmm. Full flower, full spectrum, full flavor available in Create Dream, Energy, Hustle, oh, Peace, I and Relax. all that stuff. Remember those options with a simple mnemonic device, C-D-E-H-P-R, which is come on down and enjoy humping penis <laughs> and rape. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> come on down dream. and enjoy humping penis and rape. Come on down and enjoy huge penis and rape. And that's create, dream, energy, hustle, peace, and relax. Smoke your CBD because you can. <laughs> they offer individual hemp pre-roll joints. Full gram pre-rolls, rolled in organic hemp paper. They also have the half gram pre-roll joints. Those mm. are nice. Um, I kind of like the big boys. I'm a half gram guy myself. No, I'm get, I'm, I'm the, get blasted to your face off one of those first thing in the morning, mm-hmm. and then rewatch Andre Rublev kind of move. Nothing wrong with that, brother. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Smokable CBD hemp flower in three and a, three point five grams. That's one a, one eighth of an ounce for all you math nerds. They got an, they got eighth tins. They got the full gram joints if you want to be like Nick, or they got the half gram joints if you want to be like me with a little ass prick of dough. So go. What you're gonna want to do is right now. Mm-hmm. Go to cushydreams.com. That's K-U-S-H-Y dreams.com. Use promo code CUMTOWN. We got, yeah, we got some customer reviews here from Daniel K. I wonder what that stands for. Mm. You want to guess? A little c- <laughs> You know? Uh, yeah. Absolutely fantastic product. I sleep like a baby the whole night through with no stress dreams, and I wake up with zero fog, ready to get after it. That's awesome. Cheers. Daniel K., a pedophile is what this That's is. right. I remember this guy. Well, I guess they probably had to delete that part of the website. Just reading customer reviews from their website. I'm sure. I don't know if they like that or not. I think they love it. Cushy Dreams provides extraordinary. And if they don't, Nick, can I tell you something? If yeah. they don't, they can suck my they dick. They can suck his penis. <laughs> so they can was, make with the check and suck my yeah. dick, Our, as far as I'm concerned. Their flowers are slow cured, hand trimmed, always organic. Like my cock. Our experience growers never rush. Each small batch, each harvest is method- methodological. Mm. And artisanal. Mm. And our packaging, nitrogen mm-hmm. sealed cans and glass tubes, lock in the flavor and the freshness. Yes, sir. Um, Yazir. Premium private. You know, I just got a hankering for checks. Rice checks. Checks are good, dude. Yeah. Checks are. I'm a, more of a corn check. Fuck the guy. rest of this read, actually. Let's talk about checks for a second. I'd love that. Um, checks, yeah, the corn. Well, we said the promo code, right? We did. Yeah, promo code come down. Come the down. read is over. Read is over. Twenty percent off. A million dollars, something like that. We had yeah. Listen back to old episodes. A million dollars worth of the fake weed. That's it's actually it is very nice. We like, do use it. We actually do use yeah, this product. There's some shit on the. I'll tell you the Smoky Dreams. I smoke. I use the Ridge Wallet. I fucking uh, gamble. I gamble. For sure. I lose a lot of money, but that's me. That has nothing to do with the product. That's just Nick. The and website, it's kind of hard for Nick to lose money, actually. And yeah. we'll, I feel like we'll talk about that a little later, actually. We'll talk about that in exactly 17 minutes. <laughs> 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 um, I do want to say, before we talk checks, I am about to go on tour the August shows. I just want to highlight these. Portland, we added a second show. We sold out the 18th on a Wednesday. We added a Tuesday show the 17th. Then I'm in Seattle on the 20th and 21st. Tickets to those are going fast. And then I'm in Utah, Salt Lake City, the 26th through the 28th. And then, of course, Denver. Those tickets are going fast as well. That's 
September 12th. So buy tickets to those and also Acme. We got more coming up, but those are the ones coming up right now. Buy those tickets, you little fuckers. Portland, Seattle, Salt Lake City, Mm -hmm. Denver, and Acme, Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. Uh, Stavi.biz slash tour. I'm excited to see you little fucking sluts there. Anyway, checks. Yeah. So you go, you go rice checks, huh? Yeah. Listening to Know Your Enemy can feel like visiting a semi-reclusive friend whose apartment is crammed with out-of-print books, but who always keeps a stash of good bourbon on hand. <sighs> Kill yourself. <laughs> Kill Whoever yourself. wrote this can really Just suck my dick what and What a balls. fucking, yeah. Can truly slurp on my little Just, nutsack. Yeah, some guy in Tiva is riding his bicycle around uh, 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 Park Slope. Yeah. With his messenger bag, drinking in this podcast life. This who, secret, who sips bourbon and coughs, this, by the way. Yeah, this secret, who takes a sip of bourbon and goes... <coughs> special podcast life that he lives. New York sucks. <laughs> These people ruin it. That's we why I more, like Queens, dude. Yeah. Nobody knows what the fuck... Pod, no one knows what Chapo is in Queens. We need more retards to move the Brooklyn. I hate, I hate coming here because people know who we are here. In Queens, no one knows who the fuck I am. Mm-hmm. It's all these fucking... It's all Eastern European guys. It's all guys that have my body type, my hairstyle. Mm-hmm. They got chains on. They're where they, they operate a, a, a restaurant that I've only seen three people ever go into. Mm-hmm. It's fun. You know, they have food I don't know about. It's good shit. Mm-hmm. Or you get a lot of fucking young Arabs with expensive cars. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot, a lot of hookah going on there. Nobody knows what a fucking podcast is over there. Mm-hmm. And if they do, it's like, uh, you know... I don't know. I don't know what kind of podcast they would even fucking listen to. Maybe like uh, if 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 uh, Wild and Out made a podcast, mm-hmm. that's what they would listen to. Yeah, I want to. I the only podcast I'd listen to at this point is like um, like a guy with Down syndrome trying to put together IKEA furniture. You just want to hear the sounds of that. <laughs> well, him walking us through the process. Oh, okay, so it's more it's him trying his best to tell you mm-hmm. how to do it. All right, we got a thing here. It looks like uh, they're calling it a dowel. Mm-hmm. Boy, I feel like I got dowel syndrome over here. <laughs> <laughs> so he's pretty witty. <laughs> he's got, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would write this. I would. He write would it. write it for. I him. would be the head writer on okay. this show. Okay. All right. And that is conceptually, I think you could do that. It's called Talking Ikea with Chris Hart. Chris Hart. Oh, you know what? I take it back. I do. I, I used to listen to Talking Sopranos during the pandemic. Really? Yeah. Mm. I love Michael Imperioli and Steve Sharippo. Yeah, this is all just a glowing profile of this guy's friend's podcast. And you know what? I, again, I have, I don't know those guys, their podcast. Mm hmm. But the other, the the writer I can say can suck my dick. Mm-hmm. That's my issue with it, is how little this guy's dick is. Yeah, podcasts suck. What's scroll down? What else he got? I don't Let's know. Let's see I'll how just, he wraps it up at the very end. I have not. This was just sent to me, so I haven't really dug into this. Uh, I'm trying to find something that's not just more of the same. Oh, you know what? I also listened to Blowback. That I guess was pretty the, good. Like, what I can tell from this is that. I mean, now we've moved on completely from the fucking the lead. It's no longer about some post dirt bag left thing. It's listen to this show instead of Chapo, mm. and then they're just talking about these guys, right? How what they maybe drink, the, they have a lot of books and they drink bourbon and one. What's of the author's name? Christians. I don't know. I already forgot. Maybe he wants to suck their cocks. Uh, Aaron Aaron Morantz. Oh yeah, I think that's it. Something like that, or Andrew. Mer- Mauricio. Andrew Mauricio wants to suck these guys' cocks. Yeah. Maybe that's what's happening here. Um, I do have to hand up again, admit, I actually did learn. I listened to the Blowback podcast. It's very good. And mm-hmm. I did learn while walking. So hand up. That's on me. I accidentally learned because our friends do Blowback and I clicked the link I saw on Twitter. What's Blowback? Was I don't know what any of these shows are. It's about... Uh, the one I listened to is the one about... Um, how we got into the fucking Iraq war. I don't care. I didn't care, but I was all my basketball podcasts were over and it's really well, you know, it was well done. So, but that's no. the one exception. No, we got to have it. We got I'm sorry. I admit it. I fucked look, up. I learned. We're going to call up the New Yorker. I'm sorry. We're calling up the New Yorker. We're doing an article 
We're going to okay. find the guy with Down syndrome. <laughs> okay, get we'll him take to a try little, and do Ikea. A little, a little field trip to Ikea. Let's get, let's get him, let's get his fucking uh, Reese's covered mitts on some Malm boxes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, then, and then we got, then we got the next big hit of the summer. Yeah, I still don't know what this is about. Who cares, dude? All right, here we go. Now that now here's where they're talking about how you should, why you shouldn't listen to Chapo anymore. When podcast Chapo began in March, it served a real need. The uh, need to uh, suck uh, my uh, dick. Scanning for the word butt. <laughs> uh, 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 bearded white guys. Mm-hmm. Felix and Matt. To Chrisman. The one host with any red state cred. This guy can suck my dick. All right. Whoever wrote this article can suck my hard ass little penis. Yeah. This is what I hate. Chapo came to exemplify an online subculture that called itself the dirtbag left. Although its flagship products were podcasts, Chapo, Street Fright Radio, and Come Town. What? We. <laughs> Literally never. <laughs> Fucking losers. Never. All we we just did a podcast mm-hmm. that we didn't think was going to be successful, mm-hmm. and people are stupid enough to give us money, and we're trapped <laughs> at doing it. <laughs> we're okay, we're there's stuck. That's it. That's all that's happened. They here. call it the d- dilemma. <laughs> 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 they call it the f- <laughs> n- dilemma. <laughs> Why don't you put that in your article? Yeah, quote me on that, Chief. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember. I remember at the planning meeting mm-hmm. when we launched Come Town. When me, you, Will, uh, the guys from the other podcast, no. sat around the table and we said, "Well, guys, we really would like to be the smart ones, but if we have to be the fucking morons that talk about sucking our dad's cock, mm-hmm. we played. We played rock paper. Remember when we played rock paper scissors with Will." Over who got to do the Sucking Your Dad's Cock podcast and who got to do the one that knows about politics. I don't remember that. I don't remember anything. That's right. You were I huffing, still don't understand. You were the, huffing glue in the corner. I still don't understand what the point of this article is. Who, who is this for? Who reads this? Nobody. Who's reading a 5,000? I mean, it's me to get angry. Yeah, that's true. You're getting, you're getting got <laughs> by just, this guy. To just like, but I don't like who wants like, what's go? Uh, I want to know more about fucking faggots in Brooklyn recording things with their friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need to know more about <laughs> not only the dirtbag left, which was already, I'm sorry, it's gay. That was a gay thing to ever call mm-hmm. anybody doing anything. Yep. But now a post version of it. What about the ball bag left? I like that. And that's when girls suck my nuts. It's and I'm good. like, yeah, I'm a socialist. Because mm-hmm. that seems pretty cool to me. Yeah. The ball bag left. But after Sanders lost, Chapo seemed to have nothing left to say. Who gives a fuck? This guy. What is the point? Yeah, what is the title of this article? Um, I'm a jealous little bitch. It's like maybe there's a new thing. If uh, only I got a little bit of pussy, I wouldn't write an article this fucking annoying. I forgot, but let me tell you this. It is a godsend. Yeah. Because we've got... Two minutes left until the next ad. Until read. we get make a little bit more. We do the ad read, and then from the ad lie. read, it's smooth. Say, yeah. really, this podcast, the free podcasts have begun. Mm-hmm. Can we do twenty minutes up? Top? I'll tell you this, guys. If if you maybe you're and maybe, if we do, then it's first ad. Maybe you're the guy that wrote this article. Yeah, and you're listening, and you're like, hey, hey, what the hell? Or maybe you're the other guys. Maybe you're the the know your enemy guys, or whatever. And we've met numerous times. Yeah. And we're friends. <laughs> and we're nice. <laughs> we're friends with each other. <laughs> and you say, what? What? Why? Yeah. The answer is to go to patreon.com slash come town. Mm. Give us more money yes. so I can kill myself with drugs. Eventually, Nick will kill himself. Eventually, he I will. He got close like a, a month ago. Mm-hmm. He's he, It ebbs and flows. Yeah. The next peak, if you give us money, might be higher, the real, and it might be dangerously high enough that he does finally do it. The real post-left thinking is that the w- only way to destroy capitalism is by doing capitalism so much mm-hmm. that it's like when Neo steps That's in, right. they put him in the machine, yes. and he fights And Agent he knows Smith. all the fucking kung fu and, and he shit. Knows all the, so I'm, it's the end of the Matrix, and instead of putting me into the machine, you need to put fentanyl into my arm. That's right. 
And then he'll see everything very clearly. Yeah. The show's 500th episode, recorded this February, on the anniversary of Sanders' victory in the caucus, trying to peak of his campaign. Damn, they've done 500? How many episodes have we done? Have we done 500 episodes? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, fuck. Oh, my No, God. this is the 270th episode, I think. Yeah, but we also do bonus episodes. Oh, that's right. Then oh, you know my what? God. Hold have on. we done 500? Yeah, literally this Sunday will be the 500th episode. Are you serious? Yeah, because this is 270 and the premium's 230, so that's 500. Oh, my God. I know. Dude. It makes you want to kill yourself, doesn't it? This sucks. It makes you want to kill yourself even more. Either kill myself or maybe go on to mm-hmm. a website and play some wagers. Mm-hmm. Right? Play some, oh, yeah, at mybookie.ag. <laughs> yeah, I was going to kill myself because I realized... When I was 19, I wanted to do stand-up comedy more than anything in the world, and somehow I'm trapped on this gay-ass podcast 500 episodes later. Mm. But then I decided, no, I'm going to bet money on the Olympics using mybookie.ag, get so rich, bet all my podcast money on a sure thing, Mm -hmm. double it, and then get so rich I can get a fucking BBL and have a luscious fat ass and all my problems will go away. Yeah, I'm just trying to have a Fleetwood Brom that I raise a family in. Yes, sir. That's it. I want to open my fucking surf dream. and turf restaurant. Every four years, trade out the wife for a younger, bigger titty bitch. That would be awesome. And we all just like live, a lease. We live in that Cadillac, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm snorting lines off the dashboard. Yep, illegally parked. Absolutely. In some city, Trenton, maybe Trenton. Yeah, beautiful. Not? Trenton makes the world takes. Trenton makes my dick hard. <laughs> That's what they put on the bridge. <laughs> Trenton, I'm going to get that tattoo, dude. That would be awesome. The bri- whatever that bridge is, yeah. and then written on it, Trenton makes my dick hard. <laughs> that would be a great... If you're listening to the show, get that tattoo, show it to Stav at the show. Do not show me a tattoo of Nick or <laughs> me or anyone. <laughs> Go ahead. If you're the guy that wrote this New Yorker article, get a tattoo on your forehead of the Trenton Bridge, and it says, Trenton makes my dick hard. That's true. If you're that guy, do it. And then if you really want to be post-dirt bag left, prove it. Prove it big By time. getting that tattoo. Mm-hmm. Checkmate. Mr. Anthony Maurizio, whatever the fuck. Maurizio de, pu- de Pussy Suckio. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. De Penis Suckio. Mm-hmm. I'm Mauricio de Pussy yeah. Suck Yo. This is, here we go. We're, we're now 37,000 words into this essay. I found the episode hard to finish. Oh, not my God. Because the gosh. humor was too Shut vulgar. Shut the fuck up. And not because the observations were unfounded, but because none of it seemed to matter. It was like, what? How, uh, do you, what do you think this is? The lack of self awareness to write. What do you of, think oh, this Oh, this doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> my long read in The New Yorker about. <laughs> About uh, don't listen to Chapo. Listen to Chapo too with some guy with who who I had bourbon with. <laughs> what well, we pretended we were, yeah, we were revolutionary. They probably don't life. even like these guys. They just needed a way. They needed to like suck something off so they mm-hmm. could immediately get into. They couldn't just trash Chapo, right? Mm-hmm. They had to fucking ease into it by complimenting somebody else. Mm-hmm. Let's fu- let's fucking get our dick sucked by Maurizio at uh, mybookie.ag. At mybookie.ag. <laughs> which I tell you, our good friend Roy over at mybookie.ag. Love that guy. If you ever uh, if you ever find yourself in the mybookie.ag offices, you say, "Take me to your media buying department. I want to meet that cock sucking Roy. That cock sucking <laughs> Roy. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to suck that fucking. I want to suck that. I want to suck that fucking <laughs> cock right here. <laughs> Right now. <laughs> because of the yeah. incredible deals he's given yeah. me through Cumtown. Because he's he's shown me, he's given me a piece of the ear pussy that I can't even, mm-hmm. you know, something. It's definitely something. Well, he said he emailed me shit from this week, but uh, I don't see the email here. We, but here's what you can bet on. Sporting events to go on. The Olympics? Going on to mention Olympic you guys basketball. You never heard of the Olympics? Gymnastics, boxing, et, et cetera, folks. Yeah, folks. There's a lot of good shit you can bet on. And listen, yeah. football's coming this up. This is great, too. It says MLB baseball. I love it. <laughs> don't, don't bet on the fucking Japanese league. Don't bet on the Nipponese league. Yeah. The MLB, Super Nippon league. MLB baseball. UFC, we got Derek the Black Beast versus Cyril Gaines. 
The Black Beast is such an awesome nickname. That is a pretty good one. And you know all the other black guys in the UFC are like, damn. Yeah. I could have been that instead of the Black Beauty. (laughs) (laughs) Damn, I'd love to be the Black... If I was a black fighter, I would be the Black Beauty. The Black Beauty? Stop for us the Black Beauty, Mm -hmm. Kiss. I would be Darth Vader. That would be awesome. Yeah, just yeah. steal licensed <laughs> shit. Nick, yeah, right. Darth Vader Mullen. The black UFC guy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. We got a big fight tonight, this week, bet on Derek, the black UFC guy. Stavros, versus Arnold Schwarzenegger, Halkius. <laughs> versus Cyril Gain, which sounds like a fucking, like, Cormac McCarthy name, mm-hmm. Cyril Gain. Yeah, like a like a guy who owns like a fucking. What ethnicity is that? Even probably white trash. Yeah, if I had to guess. Let's look up Cyril Gain. Let's see if he's hot. Wait, hold on. I don't want to lose my place in this. I'll look him up. This article. No, you can, dude. No, uh, no, nah, because we're gonna we're just gonna go through this whole thing. Okay. And then not pay attention when the. Guy who wrote it spends a week complaining on Twitter about it. Oh yeah, absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cyril Gain is a. Uh, he also appears to be black, and he is kind of hot. I mean, he's jacked. Oh well, I guess he has to earn the title of the Black Beast. What's What's the guy he's fighting? Uh, uh, Derek the Black Beast Gaines. <laughs> Derek. <yeah. laughs> uh, Derek the Entertainer. <laughs> Derek the Entertainer. <laughs> Uh, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy's not as hot as Cyril. But he does appear to be a black beast, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. That's a good nickname for him. Oh, fuck my ass cheeks. Yeah. Yeah, so you want to bet. There's a ton of shit you can bet on. Listen, the NFL's coming up. Bet on, do you think Tom Brady's bitch ass is going to win another ring? You can fucking bet that at the beginning of the year. Is Aaron Rodgers going to fucking retire and go host Jeopardy and suck cock on the sneak behind you his... You can bet that. News promo code beca- come Behind his fiance's back. Come town or come town 20. Um, One of those ought to do it. Yeah. Is America going to win the world uh, the the gold gold medal? The golden penis. The golden... Schlong. The giving out a golden penis at the Olympics. They should do that, dude. Give out gold cock? Yeah, a golden penis statue. I'd go to the Olympics if they did that. That's the only reason I You ever I been have. to the Olympics? Huh? You ever been I to the Olympics? I was invited. For what? Flying. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> they tried to have, and I'll tell you this: you think I'm lying? 1987, they invited me to the Olympics for fucking. <laughs> I was because that in the old neighborhood, everybody knew. Everybody, that, knew, everybody knew I was throwing dick better than anybody. Than the whole anybody. They on used the whole to. Have, they used to. Have, they tried to put fucking in the Olympics back then, but the but, South Koreans said they they weren't going to do it. <laughs> 87 Olympics, South Korea. Look it up. Next time you're at the library, look it up on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you're at the library, <laughs> look it up on the motherfucking computer. Yeah, a- a- go ahead, ask the librarian. Yeah. Put put my put my name in there, Derek Serial. Derek the Black Beast Serial. Derek the Black Captain Crunch Serial. <laughs> Olympics fucking. <laughs> Type it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of beautiful wages you can mm-hmm. put in, and I, I feel like our friends over at my bookie they got mm-hmm. a deal for us, don't they, Nick? Of some kind. Where my bookie? Yeah. Oh yeah. If you they do, you got to check the super spreader event. Super spreader events. And they do it now. They match your deposit up to a thousand dollars. Wow. For free republic credits. Mm. For some type of gambling credit. I I don't really know how it works. Yep. But, uh, they match. I have too much money to worry about. I don't like free money. Right. You guys like free money. I like earning you my broke money. You motherfuckers. Gambling. Like that shit. Yeah. I go leverage, dude. Mm-hmm. Margin. I'm always gambling on margin. I love margin. I put twenty five dollars down. Multiply it times fifty. I say, let me get. Uh, I want. I want fifty. I love 000. leveraging my position. Yeah, I want fifty thousand dollars on the Diamondbacks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then and now I owe eight point two million dollars mm-hmm. to mybookie.ag. But you're. But leverage and is you powerful. Know I tell them. I tell them Molin Labe or however you pronounce. Yeah, Molin Labe. Whatever, however you say it. Come and get it, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I got that tattooed right underneath the Trenton Bridge. 
That's right. Trent, Trent makes, makes my, my dick, dick hard. <laughs> Molon lave. Come and get it. Yeah. Uh, that actually makes sense because what you're saying is my dick is hard because of Trenton. Mm-hmm. Why don't you come and suck my dick? Why don't you come? Yeah. And That's so good. That's A lot smart. of you guys thought this was a stupid show for guys that didn't understand things like uh, time to say goodbye, left anchor, death panel, and the dig. Mm-hmm. Which are other which are other shows you can listen to instead of Chapa? <laughs> According to the these New motherfuckers York really are jealous, man. Yeah. Sorry, dude. It wasn't gonna. Be, it was never gonna mm. be you. You never had the sauce, Maurizio. Didn't have the sauce. You couldn't do it. You weren't rookie of the Your year. Your balls weren't as heavy as Billy Big Balls Billy Meniker. Mm-hmm. All right. Keep fucking crying about it. Mm. My man's over here. He's getting paid. He's watching good movies. He's making an incredible. What did he make us that one time in the cabin? That beautiful pasta. Uh, who? Big balls, Billy Meneker. Oh, I don't know, but it's delicious. He's a very good. Oh cook. my god! Yeah, I'm you never. Motherfuckers will never be our boy. Everything. Uh, so stop writing articles. Everything that fucking Will has ever made that I've eaten is delicious, mm-hmm. including his asshole, uh-huh. which you think loves to munch on. All right. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, all right. Let's, you ate Will's ass. You know what? And he made you, by you, the way. You know what, dude? You we, didn't want to. And we, and we were all laughing at the, at the podcaster long, party. We had a common enemy in Andrew <laughs> Morantz. <laughs> Fuck that guy, too. But you did eat Will's ass. I did not eat Will's And everybody ass. loved it. No. Except for you. No. We were all, <laughs> we were all having a really good time. Everybody loved eating Will's ass, except for me. No, we all lo- loved and watching you do it. Because I didn't want to, and you wanted. You are like, it's my turn to eat ass. No, we just loved seeing you do that. It's my. I'm. Because you know what? Because it's nice to see your friends doing what they're good at. Yeah. And you finally admitted that what you're good at is eating a man's ass. Yeah, and if anyone can judge eating, it's you. That's true. Thank you. And mm-hmm. I can. And I was, I was right, and you're good at it. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. My fucking platano chips lunch is coming back up. Yeah, I had a very, I had a gentleman's lunch of plantain garlic chips. Well, anyways, fuck this banana. guy for taking shots at uh, at Will, who got his ass eaten by uh, by you. By don't stuff. try and fucking spin this part because <laughs> this is the part that's the most yeah. important. Pal, the only spin you know about is watching a cotton candy machine going no, around. It's Spin for, City. Waiting for it's Spin City with Michael J. Fox and yeah. later Charlie. Yeah, who you like whatever because you, you hand uh, the can of whipped cream to him and yeah. you say and he shakes it, it up. Nice. Get it ready for me. Yeah, I like it all over the I place. I want it inserted into my mouth. I don't. Yep. What's wrong with that? Like a hamster's feeder. Oh, you're telling me you wouldn't let fucking Michael J. Fox, a screen legend, no, Back to the Future, no. feed you whipped cream? I would say, let me meet the DeLorean. Well, and he would say, maybe I will if you fucking were a good guy and let me put a little whipped cream yeah. in your mouth. How about that show, the, the Man DeLorean? And it's a DeLorean, but it's got a big pair of tits on the front. Wouldn't I that be that's the woman the, DeLorean? No, that's the, it's a good DeLorean for guys. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought that show was, and it turns out to be a bunch of gay Star Wars stuff. That's true. That would be an awesome car. Mm-hmm. Would the tits be on the windshield, or would they be where would they be on the... Where would you put the tits? Mm-hmm. I'm asking. On the car? Where would you put the tits? On the hood. On the hood. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yep. That would be fucking awesome. Would it have a pussy you could fuck? Um, nah. No? No, nah, I don't want to fuck the car. I just want to. I want. I don't want well, to be like. Well, if something has oh, look at tits, don't you want to fuck it? No, it's just you know, it's like putting up porn in the in the in the office. I, yeah, I you know, get like it. mechanics. I love have, that move. It'd be, it'd be funny if there was a guy that was just like a like a like a physician. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your doctor has <laughs> just, just like, like yeah, just like some nineteen eighties leaning over a car, hair, yeah. the biggest, fakest, hardest just tits like, you've ever seen in your right, life. An Asian woman with a snake around her shoulder and her pussy out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, well, it's a guy's. I'm a guy. It's a, co- a guy. the guy's doctor's office. Yeah, yeah. What or a cashier at a Just supermarket a public, has yeah. it in his stall. A his public, l- a public notary. <laughs> 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 you get know, like a, a title signed over. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's yeah, just got, hell yeah. He's just got he's fucking got about, yeah. Just a big, just a bitch. Polish pair of titties. Just a bitch holding a wrench. Mm-hmm. Holding a wrench on the hood of like a yeah a barracuda. Yeah, that would be awesome. You know, that's true, man. Why does that? Why do only mechanics get that? Um, that's got to go. That's got to spread. Yeah, well, that's the, the only thing their union demanded. 
That's smart. no health care. They just get porn. They just in the get to watch place. pussy. Yeah, <laughs> you get to see pussy. Nice. Just filling your lungs with brake dust and getting fucking <laughs> mesothelioma. But at least you get to see hole. Yeah. All day. I definitely. My dad. I've said this before, but yeah. my dad had some of that going on as a carpenter, and I definitely mm-hmm. jacked off. I stole. I would take the calendar into the bathroom with me, jack off, and put it back. Yeah. All right, well, I guess now we're looking at Andrew Morantz's Twitter. <laughs> uh, fuck this guy. Yeah. I want to talk about vacation, dude. I Well, I just want to get through the show. We this, got was, this was presented to me. Sure. At the right time, by the yeah, way. The Somebody right texted time. you as we started recording. And I'm shooting. I, and we, I, we, haven't done, we haven't done a nice little, like, shoot from the hip in a while. That's true. You know? That's true. Just to say, fuck these guys. And I'm with... Listen, I'm with that. that. Mm-hmm. I love to say, fuck these guys. Yeah. Fucking losers. I hope this guy doesn't have a sister with big tits. It's oh, like, that would be fucking tragic. Now you can't titty fuck me. Cause Can I say it? Hold tried. on, hold on. <laughs> if you have a sister... if. Man, <laughs> if you exist and you have big tits, if you have big tits I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't I'm sorry. know your brother was a retard. I apologize. Everything I was saying was a joke. Mm-hmm. Will is gay. Mm-hmm. I don't like him. Will's Felix gay. can suck my dick. I didn't dick. even eat his ass, to be honest. Nick did, unless you don't exist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In which case, Nick did eat his ass. <laughs> no. He's cool. Uh, I fuck with Felix. Yeah. I fuck with the whole goddamn team. Matt's a good bloke. Exist, but I if you're real, no, fuck no, Matt. Fuck his little <laughs> cloth me, shorts yeah. that he wears everywhere. Please let me titty fuck <laughs> let you. Me titty I fuck promise you. I'm a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and Andrew can get along. <laughs> I'll fuck, we'll hang out. We'll play we'll cornhole. We'll, we'll listen parents, to the podcast. We'll and we'll drink to, bourbon. We're going to fucking have a sip of bourbon at your parents' house. <laughs> And we'll play cornhole, and I'll we'll sit around the fire pit. I'll charm the whole family. Maybe then we'll get back to your eight nine p.m. I'll titty fuck you when I'm full of hush puppies. That would be awesome. And when I'm fuck my guts hanging over you. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my, my guts. When you we can both barely get, breathe, I get rug burn on the bottom of my gut from your fucking <laughs> bloated tits. <laughs> and Andrew's in his own bedroom. Yep, fucking his probably uh, Chinese girlfriend. You think so? Probably. I get those kind of vibes. Okay. And but let me say this: If you don't exist, fuck that guy. Mm-hmm. But if you're real, what's up? What if you're real? What's up? If you're real, let, let us let's talk. Let's talk titty fuck. <laughs> let's talk titty fuck. Let talking titties. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite. The fucking... post dirt bag left. What a what a what a cool thing to be. Again, I'm part of the ball bag left, where mm-hmm. I like to get my balls sucked. That's the part. Of, that's the left I'm on. Mm. So put that in your little fucking articles. The ball bag left, and the titty fucking left. <laughs> the two types of leftism I support: ball bag, getting your balls sucked, mm-hmm. and titty fucking left. Okay, that's the kind of shit we're on. I guess I, we should just we should find a hobby so we can transition this into being about something that's. Can be untouched by all of this. We might have to get into Warhammer three thousand. We should just I know make it a movie been, podcast. We should. The movies are too close. It can't be anything that has any kind of culture or anything you can look into. Okay. In any way. It's got to be. Uh, we should become a deep Lord of the Rings lore podcast. <laughs> that's too gay. I can't. Well, okay, man. It's well, also I'm fucking too, throwing shit out there. It's also too. I just said it can't be a movie podcast. You immediately just picked. Another it's a movie. book. How about that, mm-hmm. Chief? All right. There's books of yeah, it. It's a book. Who read those books? I did. Literally nobody. Everyone saw the movies. A lot of fucking guys That's did. That's one of those books everybody pretends to have read. Yeah, like, um, I don't fucking know enough books. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know really enough books. Really, not one? Not one? I don't know. Of books. Really, not even topic of books that you've read. It's books that you pretend to have read, and the answer, there's no possible answer. I don't know. The Old Man in the Sea? Mm-hmm. Moby Dick. How about that? Yeah. Two, I don't know why I'm only thinking of nautical books. Um, uh, I'm looking at your bookshelf. They're all... How to, no, how to, none of them are about gay. how to do gay. <laughs> <laughs> being gay for, for guys who are friends. straight. For guys who are actually straight. 
So you can understand. Sorry. So you can understand Sorry. your friends. Stop. Actually, no. How to understand no, your friends' no, no, gay no, mind. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what the book That's says. That's what the book says. I'm, uh, it's not what it it's, says. I'm looking at it right now. And I, I yes, I remember. <laughs> I remember reading it. It's not- that is not what it says. Mm. It just says the first part. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with you having a friend or being straight. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. The thing is, is that you can't leave New York and move. Like the only th- the guys like me moved from New York, and they're like, "I'm gonna move to Stone Mountain, Georgia, to be in right. the Klan and buy a bunch of guns." Yeah, and now I've moved here. I spent the first month building a podcasting studio. Mm-hmm. And I, you can't. I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, Nick DiPaolo. Yeah, that's not the move. I want to move to like move. Uh, nah, not for me. Because the move would have to be, and then you quit podcasting. Right. That's what I'm going to do is going to buy the rights to Blockbuster. Awesome. And move to a time when I, I'm going to have the, my money guy find a place where Blockbuster is viable. Okay. And move to the town, restart Blockbuster, and become just employ myself as a. Uh, the blockbuster checkout guy. That's awesome. And you hire the rest of the staff. I'm the only one that's allowed to smoke weed. Perfect. And if I don't, if I'm not incredibly high, to the point where I can't function, then I'm fired. Yes, that's awesome. And it's the it's you turn that into a prison. That's really good, dude. Mm-hmm. I would love to just live that live your adolescence forever. Mm-hmm. Shouts out to Blockbuster, my alma mater. I quit by just not showing up, and my boss kept calling me, and I had to pretend I pretended I got evicted or something. Yeah, because I'm too much of a coward to admit I was quitting. But you know, I had a nice six months there. Watched a lot of movies for the first time. That was the only time I ever watched movies in my life mm-hmm. until like recently. If I didn't watch it during co- freshman year of college, while was this the break when I was at Blockbuster. I never watched it. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, I'm just still thinking about, should I buy Martin on DVD? Yeah, of course, dude. That's not even a fucking question. That's not even a fucking question, Chief. Yeah. Damn, I want to write a little gay-ass article for the New Yorker. You could. On the post, post dirtbag left. It's time to admit it. We're having sex with children. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of people have shied away from this and tried to cover it up by talking about books. (laughs) Talking about a bunch of gay-ass books. (laughs) And I know these books mean more to me because my dad was in the union. Mm -hmm. And that's that's why when I tell you how to be a condescending dickhead at bourbon bars, it really means something. Mm -hmm. We're moving past that. And we're coming out in the open as guys that have sex with mentally disabled children. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. You could probably get published. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could be a New Yorker writer if I wanted to. I'm going to make a, mo- a, 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 a a magazine called the New Porker, mm-hmm. and it's both about <laughs> it's about three things: pork, it's about getting pussy, yeah. It's about being. It's about <laughs> fat men style tips. I want to write a memoir about my time in the Olympics for flying. <laughs> <laughs> you just jump off a building. Mm-hmm. You're suck dickerous. No, that's what your book's called. Suck dickerous. Lick the man who flew too close to the sun. Licorice. and fell onto a man's penis. Lord licorice. No, you're Lord Licorice. Thank no, you for admitting Lord that, by Lic- the way. Licorice. By the way, thank you for admitting that you're Lord Licorice because no, you were fighting it. You're Lord Fatterus. No, I'm Lord not. Lord Acerus. <laughs> no, I am not that. Yes. I'm cool guys gets pussarus. Mm-hmm. And you are actually suck dickerous. I can't wait until they... flew too close to the sun. They find your fossil and fell in a down million years. onto a man's cock. They're, they find your fossil in a million years. And they're like, and they're like wow, cool. a half man, half manatee. <laughs> no, they wouldn't say half that. Man, half I have all the fucking skeletal a functions s- of a man. A sea porpoise. There's slash nothing become. about me that's porpoise like. Missing link when humans devolved <laughs> into being obese <laughs> sea animals killed by boats. You know what? I wish Just I was a man. You know what? You're right. They're going to find you at the bottom half of man, the Chesapeake half manatee. Bay. They're going to be like, the Chesapeake Bay half used to be man, half manatee. filled with Greek whale people. <laughs> Half and man, then they were all manatee. killed by boats in the you inner harbor. Because you've seen that video where the manatee sucks its own dick. He's got a big dick, and that's me. Mm-hmm. And that's the episode, folks. My dick is big, and Nick's dick is small, and he sucked dick, Ricks. And we'll see you fucking...
It's this Sunday. <laughs> You go to cometown.com. Remember, you got to support the post dirtbag left by subscribing to th- this renegade, this truth teller. We're the project. renegades of funk. We're the ones that are building a cohesive left movement that will finally. That's right. Will finally, the ball bag left. That ch- will finally change things. The titty fucking left slash the ball bag and left. And make all the time y- you'd spent at those DSA meetings worth something. Mm-hmm. Because you certainly didn't get any pussy on them. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly <laughs> did not even get a smidge a little <laughs> of all that pussy you told not yourself. Not a oh, stitcherino. I mean, well, I mean, I'm not doing it for the pussy, but if I happen to get a piece, I mean, well, you know, I'm certainly not going to turn a piece of pussy down. I'm, I'll certainly, you know, I'll be, uh, yes, ma'am, you can give me a piece of your pussy, but I just want you to know I'm doing this because I have principles that I learned from my homework that I can't stop doing. I'm 37 years old and I can't stop doing homework. Can I have some pussy now? <laughs> uh, yeah, go to Patreon.com this Sunday. You're going to love our mm-hmm. most experimental episode yet. Oh, this is trending on Twitter. Chapo. Many discuss an article in the New Yorker titled The Post Dirt Bag Left, written by Andrew Morantz, which examines the podcast Trapo Trap House. Oh, uh, well, if it's trending now, I feel now it sucks. Mm-hmm. Fuck this guy. He got exactly what he wanted. Little fucking slut. Yeah. Fucking slut. Andrew Morantz. More like yeah. Andrew. I hope this isn't rude to say, but it would be kind of funny if that guy uh, got prostate cancer. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. A, what? That's not a threat. You get. <laughs> I know it's not a threat. All right. I'll take it back, but the only reason I'm taking it back is so I in, don't get prostate okay. cancer. Okay. <laughs> And I'm thinking back in because case be his Indian, sister has big tits. There might be Indian people listening to this trying to do that karma shit to me. <laughs> right, right. And I got my... I I know what you guys are up to. Oh, yeah. You folks. Oh, yeah. I was, like, wondering the other day, like, uh, if an Indian woman d- does right, you know, she's like a Mother Teresa sort of type. Mm-hmm. When she dies, does she come back as an Indian woman with even bigger tits? I think so. Is that the rule? That's how it goes. Is that the rule? And when you max out on tits, then you get mm-hmm. to be a guy. Call up 1-800-98-ROCK okay. and ask them. <laughs> yeah, find the number again. Yeah, find the number again and ask them. The Indian women come back with bigger tits, <laughs> you think? If they do right. 98-ROCK. Yeah, the, the, there's the untouchables and there's A cup, you mm-hmm. know, A, B, C, D, all the way up. Yep. And then once you get to H... Yes, you do. If you're a, if you're an H titty H titty woman, yep. and you happen to be sisters with Andrew Morantz. Yes, and you let us titty fuck you despite our feud with your mentally disabled That's brother, right. or because of it, whichever way it works for you. We're However, fine. it works. You do that. Guess what? You get to come back as a homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> you get to come back as Andrew Morantz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so call 800-737-0098 yeah. and ask them. Wow, this woman uh, uh, has something in common with you, stuff. Race no, she Liao doesn't. Went viral at age She seven. doesn't. Whatever it is, no, she doesn't. <laughs> For skateboarding in a fairy costume. Uh, I never did that. Yeah, he did. But that's cool. I like that. From Brazil, she went to the Olympics. For oh, yeah, she got the silver medal. I saw that. The silver medal. Respect. Shouts out to her. Because she's trying to eat it in this picture. She's our she's our cool guy of the week, and Andrew Morantz is our little dick bitch of the week. Yeah, that, we're doing new segments here. Mm-hmm. Cool I'm going guy. off. We have a new Durant segment where we Andrew Morant about some guy that's got ants in his pants. Who's got an ant sized penis? Where is he? Yeah, where was it? Was that? Were we talking about that? What, did I dream that the ant what? penis thing? I don't know. Somebody having an ant's penis. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, what was that? I couldn't tell you, b- brother. I couldn't tell you, little chief. Ant penis? <sighs> Damn. Well, it's like, it's weird because, you know, it's you know it's kind of pathetic? Because I'm like, well, Besides it has to dick. have been on the show because I don't socialize or talk to anybody outside <laughs> of this podcast. I don't think it was on the show. Because I, at this point in my life, literally have no social outlet. Other than this fucking podcast that I fucking hate, <laughs> I have not. I have nothing. I don't have a it family. Could have been at the bar. Uh, 
No, it wasn't at the bar. It could have been doing cocaine. It, I mean, it, no, actually, you know what? I don't even want to say it. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, the problem is being a cocaine addict is that, like, once you're a cocaine addict, mm-hmm. anytime you say, like, actually, I haven't been doing cocaine, it just made people are like, oh, okay, pal. Right, sure, right, 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 <laughs> right, right. You, like, Oh, it's been three days. Yeah, yeah. It makes and you're you like, more, oh, I haven't been doing it. It makes you more of a cocaine addict. It's not right. the, you know. Yeah, I get it. Uh yeah, so that girl from Brazil, cool guy of the week, the guy from the New Yorker, little dick motherfucker, mm-hmm. the small ass fucking dick of the week, and uh, you know, don't forget to buy those tickets to see the tour, buy my shirts to, at the shows, buy Nick's shirts, but don't bring them to my show or you will be escorted out, mm-hmm. as a matter of principle. I will not be taking pictures with anyone in merch that does not that I didn't see any money from. Because for fundamentally, folks, this is a business, and uh, I forgot what I was going to say because I'm thinking about getting Korean food later. What's Korean food? You know, bimbap, fucking. Oh right, Korean food. Yeah, what do you think I said? I don't know. Just for whatever reason, there was like a division in my mind between like Korean and food, and it just didn't populate like a. Uh... Like, it didn't materialize in my head. There was just, like, a hole. Sure. It was, like, Korean food. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have that? Yeah, absolutely. Your yeah. brain just doesn't work? It just, sure. yeah. That, that happened to me with, like, a school bus, like, somewhat recently. You're like, wait, they teach on the bus? <laughs> Not literally. I was, like, a <laughs> school bus. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the, the hell? Where, Where did the that? chalkboard go? <laughs> what the fuck what is the this? What the fuck are you talking about, man? <laughs> uh, well, folks, uh, I'm going to go get tan. I got to go pack my bags for Gre- Athens, Greece. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I guess uh, keep on keeping on, soul brothers. <laughs> <laughs>